Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AIT for not inviting my twin sister to my wedding after she slept with my ex, I, 28F, have a twin sister, V, 28F. We grew up with a teen mom who, despite her best efforts, couldn't provide the most stable life for us. This obviously impacted us in different ways. These spiraled into a mess of bad decisions while I turned into a control freak. Not the healthiest response, I'll admit, but hey, it worked for me. V and our mom? Yeah, their relationship hit rock bottom when we were 17. V went off the deep end, diving headfirst into a cocktail of substances, parties, and bad choices. My mom, to her credit, tried to drag V out of that hole, forcing her into rehab and all that. Me? I was the supportive twin, trying to be her best friend while holding my life together. Not the easiest thing, let me tell you. Fast forward a bit. V ends up in a toxic relationship, cuts off contact with our mom completely, and that severed their bond. It was a mess. By the time I hit my second year of college, V was pregnant and single. She had my nephew, who's adorable, but at that time, she was struggling. Meanwhile, I met my ex fiance D. Finally, I thought I'd found the one after a string of short lived relationships. D and I were solid, or so I thought. He was great with my sister and nephew, and we'd have them over for weekends. Everything was chill. I got pregnant, D proposed, and I was over the moon. For the first time in a long time, I felt like everything was falling into place. We were a little family, and I was genuinely happy. We decided to wait a year before time and not, just soaking in our family life. But, of course, life has a funny way of screwing you over when you least expect it. One weekend, I was supposed to be spending the day with my mom, just hanging out with her and my daughter. The day got cut short because my mom had some stuff to handle, so we came home early. And what did I find? V's car parked outside my place. Not super unusual, she'd pop over unannounced sometimes. But when I walked in, I found V and D alone in my bedroom, on my bed, looking like they'd just finished something that should've never started. I was done. I packed my bags, grabbed my daughter, and left. No explanations, no excuses. I didn't even give Dee the chance to explain himself. I cut them both out of my life, and the only connection I've had with Dee since then has been for visitation rights for our daughter. It's been three years since that whole disaster. V has tried to crawl her way back into my life every now and then, apologizing, crying, offering excuses. But honestly? I don't care. There's no excuse she could possibly give me that would make up for what she did. Sure, we share the same DNA, but that doesn't mean I owe her anything, least of all forgiveness. Now, fast forward to today. I'm engaged again to the love of my life, and he's everything I could have ever dreamed of, and he loves my daughter like his own. We're planning our wedding for June, and it's going to be perfect. But there's a catch. My mom is begging me to invite V to the wedding. She's telling me I should forgive and forget, that family is family, and we should put the past in the past. My mom's even gone so far as to say this might be the only way to fix things between V and me, and that my daughter deserves to have her aunt and cousin back in her life. Honestly, it's tearing me apart. I get where my mom is coming from, she's managed to forgive V, and they've mended their relationship, which is great for them. But I just can't bring myself to do the same. The betrayal cut too deep. And while I've moved on in my life, I haven't moved past what she did. So, no, I don't want her at my wedding. But now my mom is upset, and I'm wondering if I'm being too harsh. I still haven't had that conversation with my mom, but I've decided that I'm going to reach out to V, not to invite her to the wedding, that's still off the table, but to finally have a sit down and talk things out. It's been three years, and we've never really had a proper conversation about everything that happened. I think, for my own sanity, I need to hear what she has to say. Maybe I can get some closure, even if forgiveness is still a long way off. I'm not saying this is going to magically fix everything between us, and I definitely don't see myself inviting her to the wedding. But I think it's time I at least heard her out. Update I did meet up with V, and honestly, I'm not sure if it was the right call. She's been trying to get in touch with me for a while now, blowing up my phone with texts, calls, and even Insta DMs. I finally agreed to meet, but I made it clear, this was a one-time thing. We weren't going to be besties again after this. When we met, she gave me all the excuses I expected. 
I wasn't myself, I was struggling, it wasn't meant to happen. Honestly, hearing it in person just pissed me off more. I didn't need excuses. I needed her to own what she did. And in a way, she did, but not fully. What really got me, though, was learning more about the situation with Dee, turns out, their little fling didn't just happen once. It continued for months after I caught them. They were still trying to make a relationship work while I was picking up the pieces of my broken family. Can you believe that? My child's father was playing happy families with my sister, while I was left to deal with the fallout. That just enraged me all over again. I had to leave the park where we were meeting because I was screaming at her by the end of it. I wish I had never agreed to meet up. It wasn't worth the pain it brought back. Since then, I've blocked her, and I haven't heard from her directly. But apparently, she's been crying to my mom, trying to guilt trip her into convincing me to let her back in. Her boyfriends even reached out to me asking if I'd talk to her. Nope, not happening. So, that's where I'm at. I've blocked her and her boyfriend, and I'm focusing on the good in my life. My mom and I have worked out a system where she can still have a relationship with both me and V, without forcing us to interact. My daughter still gets to see her cousin, which is great because they adore each other. As for my wedding, it's happening in June, and I'm happy to say V won't be there. My sister might have shattered my trust, but I'm building something new with them, and I couldn't be more excited for our future. Comment Doesn't like turtles. And A. Your mother doesn't have any qualms about bothering and upsetting you, does she? She knows how you feel and keeps pushing anyway. I wouldn't have any problem cutting her out too if she keeps it up. Emerald Bluzan. Op, please don't think twice about this. I tell mom that you won't be entertaining another word about inviting sis to the wedding. It's your wedding and you deserve to be happy and have the time be drama-free and not emotionally taxing in order to please your mom. And today at all. Dr. Whoop, 87. If you wouldn't excuse a non-family member for doing something, why would you do any different because they're related to you? Family is more than blood and marriage. It's about the bonds you make with people who you mutually trust and care for. Asakrit Narwhal. Your mother is being an odd to you by trying to get you to reconcile. I would put my foot down and insist that she doesn't bring up your sister and especially not encourage you to reconcile. And if she can't support you with this very reasonable request, you'll have to go and see with her as well. I would let her know that if she doesn't respect your boundary, you'll have to disinvite her from the wedding. And be prepared to follow through or she will never get the message. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.